Good morning. How are you? Good morning and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. service dog named Pluto. Today I'm going to be bringing you through a day in my life during a chronic illness flare. So I just took a shower and brushed my teeth and I almost passed out in the shower because I decided to take a hot shower due to my joints being really achy and not feeling well. <laughs> Um, but it is not recommended that you take hot showers when you have POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, um, because it can trigger symptoms. Um, luckily I have a shower chair, so my symptoms weren't too bad, but my heart rate did get really high, um, and I did not feel too great. Um, hi. is very snuggly in the morning. I'm gonna go downstairs. I made gluten-free lemon scones yesterday. Um, so I'm probably gonna have uh, one of those for breakfast and I'm gonna make myself some tea. Um, but first I'm gonna take him out to go potty and stuff. Does that feel nice? I love you. Party. So I just had scones for breakfast and then I had a cup of English breakfast tea. And then when I was getting up, I like stretched my arm up and my shoulder popped out of place and then popped back in. So now I'm in a lot of pain from that, which is not fun. Um, my shoulders uh, subluxate a lot. Um, I don't love it, it's not fun. Um, my hips and my knees have started to also do that. Um, it's only happened to my hip like once or twice. Um, and it's my right hip, and then um, it's happened to my knee, my left knee, like two or three times. So that's super fun. It's raining, and it's like really stormy here today. So we're probably not gonna be able to do much of anything. Usually I will go out and play disc with him. I've been practicing some freestyle sequences because I attended a freestyle seminar this past weekend, um, and it was very, very informative it was very fun i just had an auditing spot so i didn't like work actively work on anything with pluto while i was there um but i've been taking a lot of the things that i learned and applying it to our stuff at home because we don't actually have a freestyle routine um we've never debuted in freestyle i hope to sometime this summer um i'm just not sure when um so yeah that's what we're doing and usually um, the way I will structure Pluto's food is that um, I will, he gets a cup and a half of a nakshak every day. Um, and usually I will pour out a cup and a half into my treat bag. And then if we go out and do anything, if he has to work, he will uh, eat that as like rewards throughout the day. And then whatever he doesn't eat at the end of the day, I'll pour into a bowl and give to him. Um, but since we're not going out today. I don't feel good and it's rainy. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give him some breakfast and do that. So 
I'm going to real quick go through all of the supplements he takes. First, I'm going to fill this up with some warm water. Um, so I just kind of like covered the kibble in um, warm water so it can kind of soak. He gets uh, one capsule of fish oil. It's a thousand milligrams. Um, he does this for his skin and coat. I do this joint powder from Super Snoots and um, it's green lip muscle for dogs and cats. Um, I do this because he does um, high impact sports with disc. Um, it's a very high impact sport. So I like to have him on a hip and joint supplement to support his joints. Then the next supplements he gets, um, I have gotten from a um, disc event that I went to, it was in my player's pack. Um, so this first one I have um, is an allergy support. He does not have allergies, but I figured it would be good um, for his digestive health um, because he is kind of like a sensitive guy with his gut health. Then he's on this flea and tick defense. He's also on like a monthly flea and tick preventative. Um, so I'm just not gonna bother getting this again once we use it up. Then the last one he's on is this multivitamin. And what I like about this is that it has vitamin E. And if you don't know, um, if you supplement any sort of fish oil in your dog's food, uh, it can cause vitamin E deficiencies. So if you're using fish oil for like their coat or anything like that, um, definitely look into vitamin E supplements. And again, I just do two of these. Um, so that's, this has vitamin E in it. So I am using that for now. But once we run out of this, I plan on looking into different options for a vitamin E supplement. And that is everything he gets in his bowl. I'm just gonna take a spoon and stir it around real quick just to get everything kind of like soaked and in, in there. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a little soup um, and he'll just eat the capsule, no problem. So I don't worry about crushing that up and squeezing it out or anything like that. He eats it, no problem. He's so ready. So we're gonna take this and go over by my desk. by his slow feeder. I'll probably use the slow feeder later tonight for his dinner. Get it. Also, while I was standing and explaining that, my heart rate was in like the 130s. And so now I am exhausted and sitting down and I still have to make lunch eventually. I do have things I can just heat up. Um, I got some, so I am gluten-free. I have a gluten allergy. Um, I'm not celiac. Um, I just have like a pretty severe intolerance. Um, so I have recently gone gluten-free like a couple of weeks ago. This is a very recent find. Um, but I got some gluten-free chicken nuggets. Um, I have di dino nuggets and regular nuggets. And then I have some like maple sausages. And I think I'm going to make some frozen chicken nuggets. <laughs> So Pluto just alerted to my heart rate. I sat down and let him do DPT. I just kind of like feel like the brain fog settling in. Um, I'm sitting down now. I think what triggered this was I um, opened a new bag of the chicken nuggets and I peeled the top off and I dropped it. Um, and I just forgot that my dog knows how to pick things up off the floor for me um, and I bent over and picked it up and I got very dizzy and lightheaded and then soon after Pluto gave me an alert good boy Pluto Pluto <laughs> I'm going to let Pluto outside. He's on his little e-collar. He's got it on. Um, I'm going to let him outside again because I just realized he has not gone potty. Um, 
since we woke up this morning, which is like four hours ago, and like he probably has to potty. Um, he hasn't asked to go out, but I'm like, you probably have to potty. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> than a minute but I'm freezing so I'm gonna make that tea now um I am a big big um loose leaf tea person and so are my parents um I have this cast iron uh teapot that um you don't boil the water in we actually have a hot water dispenser on top um but you just put the leaves in in this little thingy that goes inside you stick it in, you put the loose leaves in there and then fill it up with hot water and let it brew in there. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. We're using an Earl Grey lavender loose leaf tea today. I got it open. Um, so I'm gonna pour it in here. I don't do like that much. And then we're gonna fill this up with hot water. And then once the water's on, you just put the lid on and it'll brew for like three to four, sometimes five minutes, depending on how strong I want it to be. And then this is our mug cabinet. These are my parents' mugs that they usually use. And then up here is all of my mugs. Um, so I think I'm gonna use this Disney one that's technically my dad's, but he puts it on my shelf, so I use it all the time. And then I also have like this dog mug, another dog mug, a mug that has, that has Pluto on it. Um, I have a bunch of them up there. And then that's more tea up there. Do you want to give it your blessing? Thank you. My parents and I also use baby spoons. Um, this one's kind of deformed, but they're plastic. Uh, they're not metal and we use it to stir our tea so the metal doesn't like scrape against the ceramic mugs. I am actually having such a hard time regulating my body temperature right now, um, which is another like pot symptom. Um, but I, I was fine before I went outside and then I was outside for like 30 seconds. And now I'm freezing and what the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? He he doesn't counter surf. Sometimes he just like stands up and inspects what's on the counter. But there was, there was nothing over there. It was just the sink. Um, but yeah, I am having a really tough time regulating my body temperature right now. So I'm still wearing my big cozy jacket. And I'm struggling. It's so cold. I don't know why it's so cold. I'm hoping this tea will help. I took my jacket off because, um, I don't know, it's like an autism th thing, I think, where like, I don't like wearing jackets or like bulky things while I'm sitting down. It like makes me feel weird. I don't like it, but my tea is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it. <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. Wave. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's only got one brain cell to use right now. Yeah. All right. Oh boy. Let me know when you run out and I'll call him back up. Sit. Stand. Sit. Oh boy. Oh god. Up to my elbows and junk. If you just say give me a kiss, he'll give you one. Now I know you got in your hand. Give like a smooch face towards him. Say, give me a kiss and smooch at him. Give me a kiss. <laughs> give grandma a kiss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pluto. Pluto. Sit. Good boy. That's my last one. All right, Pluto, come on up. Pluto, up. Oh, God, I've got Kevin on my chin. Good boy. Good boy. Down. Good boy. Because I know you love to train for that, huh? Yeah. The official water bowl holder. Mm -hmm. Is okay. that done? You good? You good? Good boy. Come here. Turn around. Good down. Good boy. Good boy. to go to the ER. Um, my bad flare day turned into an even worse flare day. Um, and when my parents got home, I told them about the symptoms I was having. There's Pluto, by the way. He's passed out. Um, I told them about the symptoms I was having and they told me to call my cardiologist and see what to do. Um, and my cardiologist recommended I go to the ER for fluids. So I did. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, my brain fog. <laughs> I just like could not think. Um, my brain fog is a lot better. Like it's a lot more cleared up. I'm able to think clearly. Um, and I am just feeling overall not as like fatigued. Um, so I'm hoping that this can stay for a little bit and I can continue with like oral fluids and stuff for the weekend and stay feeling good but I'm gonna end the vlog now good night thank you for watching bye